call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court order on this tw uh, 23rd day of January 2024 at 5 o'clock. I'm going to ask Justin Count, if he will, to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Thank you. We bow our heads. Uh, first off, thank you, Lord, for all the uh, blessings that you've given us, whether we realize all of them or not. And, and we humbly ask for your, all your wisdom as we come together uh, for this county. May we may we be granted insight into into the decisions that we that we have to make, and may they be just and, and fair. May our efforts be for the greater good, and we thank you for your never-ending grace. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before we have the minutes of the January 9th meeting, I need a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve. Motion Second. by Jason. Second. Second by Michael. Is there any uh, discussion, corrections, or additions? Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, I'll favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Including the late list. <laughs> On the late list, it looked like we had to purchase some more salt. Like we didn't have the amount of. Well, we're trying to stay well stocked. Yes, they was. Okay. A make a motion. Motion by Kenneth. Second. Second, Second by Bob. Uh, any discussion on the bills, claims, payments, and transfers? Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Bills are paid. Bo, <coughs> you come forward. You've got a little technicality in these. So, you know. technically, that crop ground that we have um, in front of the park there, that contract's ended, and that was a five-year contract. And we're going to have to we're going to have to renew that contract on the crop ground, and the Westerfields had that, so I'm asking for an extension on that crop ground for them to maintain and farm what, crop that out, basically. Um, like I said, it was only a five-year agreement. And that was at uh, $200 an acre, and that was uh, $8,000 a year, and that's 40 acres of crop ground that they have there. So that's just something that we have to do, and that time has come. So. Yeah, and I have to go down and sign it down to the farm office for them to get their government. How, how much an yeah, acre? $200 an acre. 40 acres. Have they proposed the contract to you, Bo, or is it they, the same one? It's the same one. It's the, it's the same it contract. contract. We can extend it. Okay. I can't remember. And then we can bid it out for the before 2025. Yeah. So, so they all whatever we all think on that. Judge? No, it had been three, then that one was five, and but we it slipped up on us. And and, and the thing that year. they're the thing that they're they put a lot of time and effort and money into that. So that the way they wanted to do it is basically on that five years. So that's. <laughs> That's why they felt better with that. So and actually, they've done some to it recently. So what you're saying is we're extending it this year, but we'll we'll bid it again. Yeah, just next week. I'm fine with that. Whatever y'all decide. And they it looks like they just went through and dipped all the ditches. Yeah, you know, I'm on, saying. You know, they, on their own. Diet. Yeah, and they do and a lot of work there too. Ever got it, but so we bid it twice. Whatever it, yeah. Justin recommends, I, I'm I'm for whatever y'all decide. I'm so. fine too. I just didn't know do we have to? Is there we have that or be in result? No. No. No, if you have choice, we can go ahead and give them another five years now. Yeah, you know, it's whatever. <coughs> I'm almost positive. I either wrote the first he, one or they wrote so, it. The, so they wrote the first one. Okay. And I don't know I don't know if you have found it yet, but I know I but Dale said he has a copy list that he can provide it. To me so and then and then back. And but if we, I can get a copy as well because all I have is the that's fine. The but that's I need to go down and sign that farm letter, that's why we need to get it done tonight. Yeah, yeah, I mean if it, what, 
I mean, if the court wants to do whatever they want to do as far as the contract terms, but whatever you decide, then. Well, yeah, I'm totally fine. I mean, they, they've been good to us. They help us out, and they, they take care of it. Like what about extended a year that we'll visit That's it before, the, before the time will let slip up on next time? <clears throat> now, when we uh, lease that stuff, we don't have to go with others. We can go with whatever we decide. Yeah, it, it, that's how we've done it in the past. It was on sale. We'd like to extend so. that one, one year back. I'd, I'd like to make a motion that we extend it for the one year and revisit it. Uh, they've done an exceptional job keeping the property looking good in front of our park. And uh, if that's okay, I'd like to make the motion that we go ahead and those things the ditches. Yeah, yeah, and they just dip the ditches out. Motion by Michael to hear a second. To extend that for a year, we'll revisit it. I have seconds. Okay. I'll let them know. Oh, I'm so. sorry. Second Thank McKinney. You. Thank you both. Thank you all. Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like to sign. Motion carried. And uh, get that in the minutes and I'll go down in the morning sign. Um, before you have the ordinance 2024-4911 uh, policy, uh, it's a policy amendment. And it's just and said it's actually just some wording correction that was on the first one that we passed a few years ago. Yeah, Adam and I ran into this uh, ordinance back in, I guess the last one was in 2012. And when I looked at the language, that pretty much the, this language is, is it incorporates and adopts everything in the 2012. So there's really not uh, much amendment uh, other than we need to clarify that the uh, uh, this ordinance will be the one that's in effect. The last one actually said that it was repealing itself. So I mean, just, it, it just had some language issues back in 2012, and so we're just kind of cleaning that up. But I don't think there's any, been any significant change at all. Okay. Uh, uh, here, uh, I think we'll have to do first and second reading it because it's an ordinance. So do I have a motion for the first reading? So Motion by Larry Moore, few seconds by Jason Bull. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Okay, that uh, first reading of that ordinance passed. We'll have it back on for the next one. Uh, I have two, three personnel matters here I need to bring up. Three, uh, the first one is at the uh, senior center. Uh, a meal driver, is that right, Rip? Yes. Uh, a meal driver, uh, a level one, 13.53 an hour, beginning 121.24. The name it's Mary Alice Meadow. How many hours per week as needed? Uh, let me see here. That's going to be the change. That's going to be the part time. Yeah, not the PRN. PR. So it, it's. They called today the one that they were originally going to hire for part time no longer was a job. So they want that one as part time and they're looking for someone else. No. Nope. Okay, part time. No more than 20 hours. <coughs> Did you well, Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Yeah. Conway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. The next one is at the park. Uh, and it is a uh, part time. Yes. Yeah, part time. And it's uh, Haley. Snyder, uh, 13.53 an hour, beginning 121.24. Uh, that's it, bro. Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Okay. I think we got one more. Mm -hmm. This one's at the animal shelter. It's a part time that's uh, already in the budget and everything to be filled. And it is uh, <coughs> Hannah Roach, 
1353 an hour beginning on 128 24. How much money you said again? 1353. Same thing, it's okay. Is it part time? Yes. Okay. Sure, yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Okay, the next thing we have, if we've been left out of the Delta Region Authority as well as the one for the Mountain Region Authority, so we're one of the few counties in Kentucky that's not in one or the other, and it has some advantages. Sometimes <coughs> when uh, they're out trying to do something that the federal government is, we get left out. Uh, we get left out. It qualifies us for some pots of money, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We qualify for some pots of money by doing this. And it's resolution 2024-9. David and I actually went with a grad meeting down in, it's been, it's been a, what, sometime last year? Yes. And, and they talked about this. Do you need a motion? Yes. Go ahead. Motion by Larry. Second. Who seconded? Me. Second by Jason Bull. Any discussion? Being not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Now then, Landon, you're up. <coughs> a few months ago, I come up here about a grant we received to redo our uh, court uh, video system in the jail through ALC and uh, Department of Local Governments. So we've paid for that and got reimbursed for it. Uh, and so they've delivered it, we're using it, but now we have to redo that grant again to pay for the, uh, the software. Uh, so I gave Ann the paperwork and we just need to vote on it, make sure we can get it paid. Uh, and like the Dell, once we pay for it, they will reimburse us. And the it bill- all of it, landing. I'm sorry? We'll cover the 100% of it? Uh, yes. And it's uh, the total amount due is $44,018.78. 40. How, how often do you have to do that? Uh, this is actually statewide. I think once they get everybody swapped over and be done, it was just in two parts. Okay. The, the, the actual equipment and now the software. Sure. I guess we need to make a motion yes. to allow him to pay that bill for $44,000. Uh, $18.78. Will it be reimbursed? I'll make yes. that motion. It's a resolution. It's a resolution. Okay. It's a resolution. It's a resolution 2024-10. Okay. So you made a motion to second? Yes. So sorry. Second. I got bottle first. Bottle. Mm -hmm. So I guess I now it's for second for discussion. He's The money's there to go ahead and make that payment and then... That, that's not a... We don't have to do that. Okay. We just need to do the resolution. <coughs> okay, all right. Maybe a couple of months down the road before all that. Yeah. Uh, and what it is, is they're doing it through the whole state, so every jail's getting the upgrade. Yeah. And eventually every court system will get the upgrade. But we had to pay for it first up front. Yes. We get rid of dirt. That's what I was yes. just looking for. All right. Any further discussion or questions for Landon? If not, I'll say aye. Aye. Opposed like that. And Miranda Thank reminded you. me, well, though we had a motion and a second, a lot of discussion, but we never actually voted on the 2024-9, the DRA thing. We may not. I'm just making sure. Okay. So all in favor of that, say aye. Aye. Opposed like second. We're ready for committee reports. Has any committees met since we were here last? Uh, have we, did we meet on the... Uh, Michael, did we meet on the uh, broadband since then? No. We did get a report up, update on that at the uh, uh, utility managers today. They're setting polls on the uh, other end of the county, Warren is, for their uh, for, for the uh, projects, and they're setting them on the north end of the county. Uh, uh, Kennedy is, and there are several on that end being turned on, they're not up the other way yet. So we sort of got that report today. Any other committees have met? David, what's the status on the uh, radios? The Nothing has been done. We're still waiting, trying to fix that one for now. What he's talking, what he asked about was the fire radio, the main 
main transmitter for the fire radio is down. And so they're having to bounce it through uh, repeaters and it only works on the fire's mobile. It don't work on their handheld radios. So we're trying to get that fixed. If not, we'll be looking at buying another one. This is what hangs on the on the couch up here on uh, <coughs> Ben Lane, I believe it is, where it's at. <coughs> it did anybody, any other committees meet? If not, let's go to the uh, uh, master's comments. We'll start uh, on the, I'm going to try to rotate it each time. We'll start back on uh, District 1. Nothing from 1st District at this time. Thank you. <coughs> Second district, Jason. I thought we were road meeting today. <coughs> I came in. Is, are we not going to talk about that piece of equipment that uh, uh, well, Nick's wanting to? He, Nick that was supposed to brought to the last road committee. Couldn't go ahead and advertise it. It's, enough money's going to be advertised. So we're going to have a road committee meeting before the next court meeting for y'all to look at what Okay, it's so to we'll just go ahead and schedule a road. Okay, because I knew we wanted to look at it. And, <coughs> and then one, one other thing. I got sticker shock on that. Yeah, it's, yeah. One other thing, so big deal. We were just talking about the animal shelter. It made me think of. I saw a post on Facebook about guy dropped his dog off my daughter. She's in the. Mm -hmm. So, what's the point of having a fence around the animal shelter if it's not completely enclosed? I guess it's more to keep. We, we don't use it to keep animals in. It's more I didn't know if we needed to maybe kind of in case a dog or animal got out, would it keep them contained so they wouldn't run but, off? You know, that's a good suggestion to make sure they're contained. <laughs> I was just thinking if we were to go and wrap it around it or something, that way if somebody drops a dog off like that, which we don't want them to, or a dog gets out, it's not it's not running out liability wise, or somebody drops a dog off and then he gets off and runs wild and goes to the neighbor's house or something. I just think maybe. I, what do you guys think about that? I, I'll have the county administrator look into that and see the, the possibility of us doing it. And if we do, how much it costs. I just think that's something maybe because if somebody drops a dog off and then it gets out or one of our dogs gets out, at least it's mm -hmm. contained and it's, you know, liability-wise, we're to go to the park and bite somebody or something. Yeah. I think it is contained. I it no, don't go all well. No, no, it doesn't okay. go around. Well, it just looked like he had dropped it over. Yeah, but there. if you go to the left where you pull in, I don't think it's so. Oh, okay. I just feel like maybe like we need to look into that. Mm -hmm. Not that we want people dropping dogs off, but if they did, they're not getting out or our dogs don't get out and get somebody. I think that's a good idea. We'll get the cost together. Yeah, that's right. Right. Okay. I'm done. That's all? <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I'm done. About, yeah, uh, no, from the third district this time. Ken, uh, just you got anything else? No, thank you, Judge. Has anybody from the uh, group got anything for the good of the body? Ellen, uh, your turn. Me? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I did want a question though. What about the road we looked at? Never heard you come else from it. It's in Kenny's district. No, we never took any action on. It. I think I think there were some issues. Did you get the report back on that? I haven't. Well, well, Charlie Chills and Nick can explain to you. We thought it probably might not be a good idea, but that's a consensus. So that's that's why. But it, but I'll make sure that, you, that, that Nick gets it to you. Thank you. I did have one thing that Helen. I apologize to you, Kara. Said we saw you at the Mexican restaurant. She said, "You see Helen? You say hi to her." Said you walked right by her. I said, no. I said, I "Guess I missed you." So if I walked right by and you said, I didn't say hi to you, I just missed. You. I didn't see you. Well, hey, well, important business. Was it on Sunday? <laughs> Why did I walk by you too? No. Okay. So was was on had a lot on my mind. <laughs> no, I'm just going to tell you, Helen don't look the same on Sunday. This is just. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. oh, did you see me, Judge? I didn't see actually Sunday. <laughs> but I, I would have said hi about it. I just got scolded. I meant that for a compliment. But someone said it was. Okay. That's all. I guess we'll uh, we're adjourned. See y'all again in about two weeks.